So this is another chapter. I'm entering another section. I just really wanted to show you curve tubes and insert mesh. Now what I want to do is show you how you work with all these parts and how are we going to get in there and start to sculpt it. So let's turn the floor off because that'll take up too much room. I'm going to turn on one second. Uh, I got to drop that. Okay. And we need to start to adjust things. So right now we've been working with masks. That's part of the system. As soon as you pull pull a uh, insert sphere down, the rest is masked. But now what we need to do is learn not just masking, but visibility and poly groups. So we're going to cover visibility. We're going to cover poly groups. And this is the true mesh organization system. So this portion is a little bit, uh, in some cases, tedious, but in other cases, it's core. It's You need your hand and you need your hotkeys set for you to just fly through ZBrush. So this is a totally separate section I want you to spend time on. Masking, we've kind of looked at. We haven't looked at all this stuff, which is which is when we'll do that later when we get into more sculpting. But we've looked at clear mask. We've looked at invert. So I'm just going to clear it. Let's take a look at polygroups. What are polygroups? If you turn polyframe on, you'll see a different group for each different piece. If you look at the menu, polygroups, you'll see there's all these ways to work with your polygroup. Some of them are pretty awesome. Group visible, group by normals. I'll show you that. That's amazing if you're doing some hard surface stuff. It's not hasn't been really explored that much. Anyways, let's turn polyframe on. That's a polygroup, 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 polygroup. Those are all polygroups. Polygroups are, again, the way Pixelogic wants you to work with your model. They are the way that they would prefer the universe to work, is polygroups. Now, the way you work with polygroups is, is uh, in, I think, three ways, although I always say three. Control, shift, click. Control shift click outside. So you control shift click it or you control shift click outside. That equals show. This equals show all. Or I should say show only and show all. Click, 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 and click. Okay, now you'll notice that some of these have the same polygroup. That does not always happen. But that'll give us a chance to talk about the very first button that we want to talk about, which is auto groups. You click auto group, and now each one of these separate geometry shells. That means that it's its own contained space, it's its own sphere. Doesn't matter if it's left and right, doesn't matter. It's its own polygroup. So if I click one, it's gone. Click outside, show all. I'm only looking at one at a time. Now, the next thing that we want to do is look at how we can combine them. So I'll press Control, Shift. And instead of just clicking outside, I'm going to click and drag. And so if you click and drag, that means invert. Click and drag. And then control shift click, click and drag. And now we combine them by just using group visible. Control shift click for show only, and there we go. 
So a lot of times, I'll spend five minutes with the model, and I just I get these guys all set up. It makes a difference. So Control Shift click, Control Shift click and drag, Control Shift click, Control Shift click and drag, Group Visible, Control Shift click. Now I remember, uh, I remember one. <laughs> I was teaching this in China, to EA a long time ago, and I've taught this in uh, India and I've taught this in uh, Montreal, and I tell you. Uh, this is really hard to communicate in another language. <laughs> it's really hard. So what I highly recommend you do, just get yourself very comfortable with doing this. Just control shift click, click and drag, click, click and drag, group visible, control shift click. I'm going to write these down for those who are newer. Sorry for those who know this because I know this is a really basic thing. but. Um, it's just control plus shift okay and then you click on the model equals show only off equals show all uh, click plus drag equals invert real simple formula but it's very hard for beginners to pick up. So you want to make sure that you're explaining it to them in terms of this click on, show only, click off, show all, click and drag, invert. If you can do that, people tend to get it a little bit easier. Okay. So now, you know, I'm a pro. I just come in and, you know, done before probably even broadcast through the Ethernet. Oh, yes. Matthew brought up a really good point that I probably missed. Control Shift click. Control Shift click and drag to invert. There is a special rule. The uh, if a part is hidden, all, all rules are off. <laughs> Most rules are off. If some part is hidden, then click uh, control plus shift. If I can write, click on equals hide. That's a real mind bender. But control shift click, click click, click, click. You can get to it multiple ways, but you sometimes you just have to hide these parts. So control shift click, invert, now click hides. All right. If you have any questions with that, call us because it's five minutes on the phone. Call us. Let's get sorted. I don't want that to be a problem for you. I'd rather take that in a phone call.